Roger, uh, well done today. Another week, another record um, with the most wins at this competition now. Yeah, I didn't even know about the, the record, to be quite honest, but I'm obviously very happy um, having played so well today and then getting the record on top of it. Um, obviously, there's a lot of matches played. I uh, had to qualify for many, many years and um, when, you know, play extremely well against my fellow top 10 players. So it's a great record really to have and uh, um, yeah, I'm pleased to have started the competition so well today. I mean, suggestions that uh, Tip Sarapic was suffering from cold certainly before the match, but you were exceptionally ruthless today. Yeah, I mean, I think I played well from the start. I, I was offensive. I, I think I served well, a good variation, and thought I had good coordination in terms of my movement. You know, I thought I did well that aspect. Um, maybe didn't allow you know, Yanko to really get into the groove the way he likes to, and maybe my, I, I'm kind of match up well uh, with him. And then. I was able to run away within the second set. And can you tell us something uh, about, about a particular shot? Uh, I think in the fifth game, the second set, you reached for that, that sort of half volley and just got over the net. It's quite a crucial part of the set as well, I guess, yeah. but it's magic from you. Yeah, I mean, look, um, I think the improvisation is very important as a tennis player, and you always try hard to pick up, you know, the odd extra shot, you know, and go for it, believe you can make it. And this is then sometimes when sort of magic happens, when you almost can't believe you made the shot. Um, I mean, I think today I, I was really quick on my feet, and that's important, you know, looking ahead. But uh, it's true, I, I, you know, I, that was a very good shot for me. If we were to put together the best attributes of all eight players here, what would you throw in the hat from yourself, and what would you pick uh, from your opponents, from one of your opponents? In terms of serve and all that stuff? Anything. It doesn't even need to be a shot necessarily. Okay. Um, well, I just think, uh, you know, the approach you need to have coming into the World Tour Finals, where the best eight are playing, is you just need to have belief, confidence, and also then grit and some something left in the tank. You put all these things together, you're in good shape because uh, there might be the odd guy who's just going to sort of fade away uh, out of some reason because he's never been there before. It's too much for him. Some are just happy to be here, and uh, really, I think the ones that sort of shine here are the ones who actually feel like this season is ain't, is not over yet. I actually am here because this is the number one highlight of the season for me. That's how I look at it, and I think that's also one of the reasons I've been successful at the World Tour Finals uh, so many times.